Healing crystals, skincare routines, knitting a sweater, fitting in jeans. With Katie and Sarah, no need to worry, you're on a lady journey. Hi. Oh, welcome to Lady Journey, lady everybody. Journey. We were just talking about taxes, tax season. Tax season. And I think by the time this is out, everyone will hopefully have their taxes in. Or extended. You, or extended, which is another nightmare waiting to happen. Yeah, you're just putting off the inevitable um i just go through turbo tax each year i just i mean turbo tax is made so like literally a monkey could just do their taxes you just kind of hit click click <laughs> i just click through i don't know i like fucking slam my hands on the keyboard and then i just yeah and then and then, and then i'm done and then somehow i'm done and then you get your refund and then i get a refund and then that's it and i'm like well you know if i get audited it is what it is yeah <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Yeah, it's, that's God's plan. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's divine intervention. Exactly. Well, welcome to Lady Journey. Oh, welcome. Um, it's a big, we're, we're doing another spring episode. We did a spring episode a few weeks ago and we were talking about, you know, doing a little spring cleaning and we've, uh, I thought I would have done spring cleaning by now. Yeah. But what I instead I have done is um, what I like to do right before spring cleaning is I just let everything get t- totally disgusting <laughs> and I just don't clean. I think I think I'm going to do a big clean. I'm going to do a big clean. And meanwhile, things are piling up and there's dust and there's dirt and there's the bathroom is a mess. So that's the phase that I'm in now. Total mm-hmm. disgusting because you want to feel the clean. You want to feel the clean. So you just have to, you know, you don't there's no light without dark. I, uh, absolutely. <laughs> you have to hit a bottom you have to hit a, a, a rock bottom yes and that's where I, that is what i am doing that is what we're doing um because the last this last one was more like spring lifestyle like you know pastels m- easter making f- recipes with spring vegetables which is always like exciting leeks I, oh, oh you love a leek is, is, does asparagus fall in there oh i think so yeah like a, a, or a pasta primavera oh yes pasta any like pasta salad i love yes. people on tiktok they're doing like um you know orzo is very big on tiktok these days it's having a bit of a moment yeah i had orzo soup last night and it was absolutely divine oh the ava limono yes. i love it i've made it before but i really? didn't i don't think i put i think i did put orzo in it yeah i just did it during one of my pandemic yeah moments it's uh all of that is really good but i guess what we're now what we're doing is we're getting to the nitty-gritty we're getting of, we're going deep we're s- into it we're getting specific of just like your journey right now for the well, i guess this what this whole episode is kind of like just spring cleaning spring cleaning and it's we're going through tactics we're going through strategies and uh, like you know for example i am justifying living like a pig right now as a spring cleaning tactic <laughs> yes. to motivate myself yes i'm leaving my suitcase out and open uh well especially do you ever have that with um you get back and then you're like, well, what's the point of unpacking? Because I'm about to leave in a few more days. Yeah. So then you constantly have a suitcase on the floor. That's what we have in our apartment. And it mainly for Joe. And it drives me insane. Of like, yes. can we get your ugly suitcase off the floor? Mike has it. Mike keeps his suitcase on our table. And I think suitcases <laughs> are like the dirtiest. It's like the nest. I don't even like to touch them. I don't like to zip it because my hand touches the wheels. And I'm like, oh, God knows where that's been. I've taken it like on the subway platform and just all over the world. All over. Well, the continental U.S. That's the world to me. (laughs) That's my world. That (laughs) matters. Yes. Yeah. I think what I'm trying to do, and I think next weekend may be my big, my big fat spring clean because I want to find some really good podcasts, get the pod, cue them up, and then just go into, you know, maybe take like a little half of a little edible, which is my medicine. That's mm-hmm. my, that I prescribe to myself. Little focus medicine. Little focus medicine. And then just clean. And then when you clean for so long, it just feels so great. You're in the zone after a while. It's the, get in the zone. I think it's the starting of it. Yes. The but starting is the trickiest. once you get started. Yes. Then you can actually stay there for a while. That And then you, I like when you get in that feeling, you become a manic a maniac. Oh, you're st- you, then you start cleaning stuff you didn't even know. <laughs> you're like you're like uh, swiping out all the cupboards, and then you're like cleaning the bag, of, like the box of the oats, and you're like, I yes. didn't know I could even do this. It's just it's like a fractal. Absolutely. You're just going deeper and deeper in there. Yeah, you're like, how far can I go with this? And then you're <sighs> like, pulling your eyelashes. <laughs> No, 
I love I love like I do love like a manic clean though because it almost feels like it feels like if you were a detective or something and you're like you have the yarn and the string and it's like is that what it feels like to solve a mystery you know to like just finally get the behind the fridge and the fridge is clean and you know and then it's just like it's before you and it's glorious absolutely do you one of my favorite manic stages of cleaning is you didn't even anticipate that you were going to clean today. <gasps> you just go for it. I w- was forgot. I was looking for some kind of medicine and I go, I have a little medicine area mm-hmm. and I was like, what the fuck is happening here? Yeah. And I spent a good hour throwing away expired bottles. Oh, I lo- oh. Uh, Joe ten- tends to have a thing of not checking to see if we have it. Yeah. And then he'll buy 20 of them. Mm-hmm. Over, and so we'll have 20 no- nasal sprays. I love that Joe does that because you did that. <laughs> you remember you had that with your turmeric. Yes. The Sarah Talamash story. Sarah Talamash story. Because <laughs> uh, you, you guys are made like, in heaven, a match made in heaven. And exactly. Well, like, what are you supposed to do? Text me and be like, hey, honey, can you see if we have nasal spray? Yeah. You're you, just at Dwayne Ray and you're like, I think I need nasal spray. Yeah, yeah. So let's just get it. It's like seven bucks. Oh, well, and now that you have to, like, ask them to, like, open Unlock the nasal everything. spray is kept in a glass case like it's the crown jewels I'm like I might as well just get everything I need behind this case because I it's so embarrassing to be like sir please the floss <laughs> like, I just feel like a, a fine piece of jewelry like now can I try on that deodorant yeah you're like looking at it with your eyepiece <laughs> high quality um insanity what's that going can't on be like that outside of new york it I can't be like that outside of new york is it there's something i think razors are get are like that and they're keeping the razors locked yeah. away yeah. um not because of suicide i think those are just like those those are items that get stolen yeah. and then resold on like amazon yeah yeah that but, makes sense um but new york it's like body wash <laughs> it's, it's like, like the not even the expensive items it's just like any any loose soap yeah, I think we'll just have to go back to general store days when you come in with your list and you give it to the lady behind the, the counter. And you're like, I'd like to have five rolls of ribbon, please. Yeah. A <laughs> bag of flour. Yes. And she has to get it all for you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, no, it's insanity. But I ended up like, yeah, where you're like, I had no intention of doing this today. And it was mm-hmm. quite satisfying oh, to feel so clean good. and clean that medicine cabinet out. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Now this is what I this is what I have planned for when I do my big clean. I think what I'm gonna do is actually break it down into sections. Okay. So I have the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, and the bathroom. So I'll probably do like bathroom, kitchen, same day. Take everything out, do a huge deep clean go through throw out anything that I haven't used in the past year like even like bowls or like Tupperware that I haven't used I'm just gonna throw it all out and then make a list of I want to get new stuff like I want to get like the cereal containers and stuff like Mm. that just make a list of all that new stuff that I want to get to like have things be organized yes so that's my that's my current strategy and I think it's going to be this weekend I think it's going to be Saturday one day Sunday just day a two. little bit here and there like the medicine thing like that was just like you know one part of it but I don't Ugh. have to have the whole day like that yes but I saw a girl on TikTok talking where I guess we're going back to minimalism yes only yes. out of necessity but like there are things like there are wires she said get rid of wires what is a wire? What does that like mean? Like wires that you like. I, I have cables, like mic cables, that I know don't go to anything that I have. But oh for some God. reason, I have those I, too. I think I might need them later. Yes, I have weird stuff like that. I need to get rid of some old stuff like that that I have been like hoarding. Like I have an old like video camera that barely works that I used to tape my sets with, and it's like. This who is this for? I'm never there. I'm never going to become that person again where I need a camcorder. Yes, I have it on my phone. First of all, exactly. But she said, get rid of those wires. Ugh. Like be, the way that iPhones over the years have changed, and we're like we all have all those old cords. Yeah. Um, like when you go on the airplane and they give you those headsets. Joe throw has it. 20 of them, and I just throw, throw them away out. without yeah. telling him. I'm like, yeah. you have nice ones. Yeah. And you'll get a new pair when you go on the airplane. Like, don't worry about these. She said also mugs. <gasps> no. We have so many. We have so many mugs. You get them as, like, 
swag. I know we have one on our Patreon. Please <laughs> keep that. <laughs> not the Lady Journey mug, though. The only good thing about mugs is that at least it's like ceramics that it's not environmentally, to me, yes. as bad as like plastics and, and a, shit. a mug, at least you have like, we have we have um, probably about 10 mugs. We use two mugs. We yes. Have one, Mike has one and I have one and all the other ones, we don't use them and they're small. Yeah. And we just, they are just in the cupboard. <laughs> They're so small and they're just there. Oh my God. There was a Twitter, t- a tweet a while ago that made me laugh so hard and I think generally made everybody laugh. You know, when you have a guest over mm-hmm. and you're like, oh yeah, just help yourself and they want a glass of water and they, and then you see what they used for their glass and you're like, uh, I, ha- that, that's like an urn or you know what I mean? <laughs> like they're using, I, that's my thing that I paint that I put way in the back. Like, yeah. why are you using that? And you're like, it's not my comfort item. <laughs> People had their reasoning. They were like, well, I, I felt weird. I didn't want to use what they thought was nice stuff. So I thought maybe using their bad stuff. So they were just using like oh, their so paintbrush funny. glass, <laughs> that's um, hilarious. which I thought was really funny about the psychology of when you go visit someone's house. Yeah. What you reach for to use where you're like, I don't deserve their <laughs> nice china. Yeah. I'll just drink out of the dog bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like get, she said, get rid of your mugs and then those wires, um, just like random wires that you're not using. And then, um, Oh, iPhone boxes. And don't you want to yeah. keep those? I, I, there's something about them where it's like, oh, this is perfect to put other things in. <laughs> like any boxes I love. And yes. I did a big, like last year I did a huge spring cleaning because I moved last year. I moved in July. So June was all like getting rid of my stuff, getting rid of Mike's stuff. But then like there are still things that like, like you said, wires. I'm like, I know I kept all of my wires. Yeah, I kept every wire. I'm like, I don't even know what this is. This is like an old like um, Ethernet cable. Yeah. Like I'm never gonna go back to using the internet from the wall. I don't even know how I do that I anymore. I, like, exactly. We were like, you don't need us. Oh, they said manuals. Oh God, that's a tricky one. They yeah. said all manuals are online. You can basically whatever product that you have and it feels like you need to f- or you don't know what the settings are. If you don't have that manual, you type in the product and usually with the S K K U product number Mm. and just do pdf you will find the pdf of that yeah online so you don't need those that's so great yes um those are the ones that i remember of like those are okay mentally yeah to get rid of other stuff is kind of weird because you're like i know they say if you haven't used it in the last year but man there are times that i've regretted some of the shit i've thrown out (sighs) i know and i feel like maybe we have chatted about this on this podcast before but because i have moved so much I would just kind of get rid of everything all the time. I'd just be like, well, you know, I am i don't want to, you know, just getting rid of stuff. And then like three months later, I'm like, what? My necklace that my yeah. grandmother gave me. <laughs> you know, so it's like I am a person where I tend to get rid of, you know, and then also I do want to get rid of like clothing pieces. I'm like, ugh, who? I have clothing that I don't like, but I'm hanging on to because I'm like, what? what I have a suede skirt. I know. And and I it, got it on sale. It's like, you don't need that. OK, I know. And then at one point you did really like it. Yes. I have clothes that I just turn my back on. Like, I don't even know it anymore. <laughs> and I, it feels where you're like, I don't understand how I used to like you. And now you're just not my thing. You're yeah. Not, I'm yeah. not into you. Yeah. But those are the ones that you're like, then I'm afraid of getting rid of that. And then like five years, cause everything's cyclical that it'll just come. I'm like, God damn it. I know. And I have stuff like that too, that I'm just like, I'm keeping a huge coat from high school. I know I've talked about my big coat on here. <laughs> I have a coat that I got in high school. It looks like when people are like, who shot the couch? It's like, this is the coat from that, that statement was invented around yeah <laughs> it's it's insane and it's huge it looks like the Grinch yeah you know it's just and it's, it's a, like I won't I can't wear this yeah but yet I'm like hey, well, it could be a fun piece it could be my thing later on when I become an eccentric lady of the yeah. upper east yeah it's like maybe if I like break out of um neutrals yeah and then I just decide that I, I have a big coat now <laughs> you know and that's just your your personality yeah yeah um but all like I all of it's hard. I guess also items that have expired is a good one. Love, oh, I love that. Yeah, love getting rid of expired items. Um, 
beauty products sometimes i'm gonna do one i'm gonna do a, a call of like i have a huge drawer of like lipsticks i'm like i know i got all of these before the pandemic i don't really wear a lot of them like maybe just like throwing them all out and getting like two new lipsticks you yeah know? just because makeup just it just you keep it for so long because you're like well this was 35 dollars i might need it no i i just bought something this weekend thinking it was looked like a, it was like a gel blush thing that you put on your lips cheeks and eyes and it stays on for literally five seconds oh god but you're like i spent this seven dollars and i know that's not a lot but you're like that was this economy (laughs) that's my new catchphrase yeah that was a really dumb purchase yeah yeah Yeah. i have one like that where sometimes like i'll be out sometimes and i'll forget i'll forget to um bring my makeup so i'll just go to the drugstore and i'll buy a few little shitty pieces there and it's like oh this is first of all this is bad for me yeah um and it was a waste of money yeah uh and it doesn't it doesn't look great but then i'll just like hang on to it it's like no i'm just getting rid of i'm just getting rid of all of that stuff and and like any old clean that I have like half full cleaners that I'm not just nah, bye bye and I want to I do want to be like more minimalist in the future just in the sense of like you know stopping myself before I make that mistake of being like I need a four throw blankets <laughs> I know. yeah are there's times where I'm going shopping or I'm like just strolling through Marshall's and I have to ask myself do I need this or is this just like filling an emotional void in my yes. life right now? What am I running from? <laughs> yeah, what am I'm I like, running from? I need to get a, I need a throw pillow. Like, exactly. no, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. You, yeah. The, all of it's dumb. Um, I like the, I, I'm going through my underwear drawer. Oh, that's a big one. Of, uh, I literally think I've, everything I own has blood on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. An underwear call is important. You just got to thin the herd. You do. Thin the herd. And it's not like I'm buying expensive. I'll just buy like the cheap cane cotton ones in a package. And yeah. Then. So like why hold on to disgusting <laughs> period panties yeah. for 10 years? Yeah. You're wearing it like, I don't feel my best. <laughs> That's one I have where, um, underwear is one where I've bought a few pairs on Amazon and they've just been, I'm wearing one pair right now and they, they've been so tight yes. and I, I will never admit a mistake. So I just wear, Same. I just wear underwear that's too tight for me yeah. for four years until they fall apart. Until I deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, why don't I just get, b- spend $5 and get another pack of panties absolutely I get that way with bras where you're like I only have three bras at one point in my life never anything more never more (laughs) (laughs) it's so true now did I tell you this story that um this was years ago there was a guy who was uh getting female comedians stop me if I told this on the podcast before we're getting to that point where I'm like uh have I ever had a new thought (laughs) Not to mention I've been on 20 podcasts in yeah. the past month where I'm just like talking out of my ass about, I'm like, well, you know, my mom, my mom is, she's, she's great. Yeah. Um, there was a guy who was a stand-up comedian who um, he was giving other female stand-up comedians, he was in charge of doing like swag boxes. Okay. So you could give him your address and he would send you like a huge box of bras and underwear fascinating yeah and so i got like is eight this problematic i can't tell i think he was just doing it he was like he was just like trying to do a good turn you know Cause yeah i guess like this was all like open micro people you know but that was where i had my bras for 10 years were those bras yeah and, I've, and i'm on the very last one right now and i'm like it is it is the end of an era <laughs> yeah. Of having like the nicest, it was like DKNY. There was like some, um, some of like those nice like Playtex or whatever. I like a push-up bra. <laughs> yeah. I had a go. I had gorgeous bras, and now it's down to the last surviving bra. I uh, bras. I'm like this, uh, dude. I am not spending sixty dollars on a bra. Are you nuts? It's. Are insane. you out of your mind? I'm like, it's like an art piece I'm yeah, buying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, if I'm buying $60 on a bra, it's getting displayed in the house. I know. Like what, what, right. And this is my bra. <laughs> <laughs> um, what dude has ever been impressed by a bra? Also, it's like my, they don't care. My tits are kind of flat, but I'm yeah. never, I'm never like fooling around and I just keep my bra on. <laughs> Don't worry. You know, it's like, we yeah. just, just go naked immediately. Oh, it's yeah. The, the bras, the one thing I, that's like, 
I won't throw out because I just hold on to those for dear life. And they then the like hooks kind of like flatten <laughs> out and then dig into my yeah, back. They just and then the wire being comes assaulted out by your own cheapness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Or like the strap. I get I get those ones where like the strap gets like so worn out that it's just like it just like won't stay on your shoulder. And you're like talking to someone. You're like, um, don't excuse me. You're just trying to. Like, yes. The straps. All. Oh, that one drives me so insane when that it's almost like a sock coming off inside your <laughs> shoe. That is so rage inducing for me yeah. when I'm walking and I can feel my ankle <laughs> yes. ankle sock just slowly <laughs> slip off into my shoe. I'm like this. I can't. I can't. It's so much. But yes, <sighs> that bras are. That's a whole it's journey. A whole, it, bras are a whole journey. And I have done. I did get a few new bras last year. I got a few. Um, I got a few from. Uh, TJ Maxx I just got like I usually go there for them yeah I just got like the little um bandu ones yeah but these ones these ones are annoying because it's like they have the pads in there the pads are like shifting around inevitably it's like two pads like in the middle of my chest <laughs> I'm like uh, I is something weird like everyone's staring at me you're like yeah you're it I you have come to on. take them out to clean. Then you have to put it back in. They and fold within, so you just have like yeah. a half moon <laughs> over your your tit. I I have a Lululemon sports bra that was given to me from the movie that we shot this last summer, mm-hmm. and I'm like thinking Lululemon. This is like they're expensive, and yeah. they still don't sew in sew the fucking pad into the bra. Yeah, why won't they do it? I mean, I guess it's like oh, it's like a perk of like you can take it out. It's yeah. like, but why am I? I'm not why am I even it buying out. it if yeah. I'm gonna take it out? It's so frustrating. Yeah. Well, I have those two ones that I got. They were like a, in a little pack and they're already gross. They're already just like gross from being washed. It's like the material did not wear well. The straps are gross. Like it's just, they're <laughs> just cheap. I'm like, I'm going to throw these out. Now I have, I'm down to like two bras. Again. Like, well. Always down to two or I three. Know. Yeah. I know. Well, you see, like, I see like these getting ready videos on TikTok and I'm so jealous. It's like you're immediately like, you're just casually starting off the day with a matching bra and panty set. Like, are you a rock? Rockefeller? Yeah, what? I know. There's that one English lady that's like, it's Monday morning, time to get ready with me. And then she's like, I saw with a bralette and it's always like a different color and it matches yeah. her underwear and she's got tights. And I'm like this, this is a world. This I don't, I am I not part like, of this world. I am a guest here. <laughs> I am a guest. <laughs> I'm just privileged that she lets us in <laughs> to see this world. But it, I'm always like, what are you? What are you on Adderall that you are able to just have this life all the time? Like yeah. I don't I think get it's a it. show. I think it's, it's a ruse. It is cuz she's always meticulously put together and yeah. it's crazy. But yeah, it's the the people that have lots of like ma- matching bras and bralettes. My favorite place my favorite place to go underwear shopping and I am not even kidding. I I love to go to like one of these stores like deals and discounts. It's like a basically I love to go there and I just love to get like a gigantic bag of like these cotton like factory rejects <laughs> for like two dollars and you get like 10 pairs of panties i'm like these are the most comfortable underwear i've ever had in my life it's like the bag itself you could wear that yeah. as a panty you know it's like i that's just the only place that i've ever found good underwear like i hate like the little like no lines it's like yeah the, that fabric is not good for my sniz okay? no and also I just remember that my dad <laughs> listens to this podcast from time to time. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> just fast forward through that part. Um, no, like the l- lace underwear. Oh like my god! The, I'm always busting my thumbs through the lace I mean- <laughs> as I put them on. I've got like so many. Th- <laughs> I have the same problem. I have this like nice lacy underwear and it's like it just has a big rip like right on the ass. It's like hand grips. <laughs> to put them on I'm like can we stop putting lace around the waist? No. It's yeah. not it's not good. But that that's a those are like that that's a haul I want to do is like get rid of the bad underwear, all yes. the socks with holes in yes. it. Get rid of my white, because I, I love basic t-shirts, but I put yellow stains in my armpit within two weeks of yeah. a white t-shirt. Yeah, either get rid of them or really do like the OxyClean, like just fucking go for it with yeah. the OxyClean. Soak it and then do the whole, that's what I want to do too. I, I want to get, I want to get 
also we are we never really fully moved in we just converted to minimalists yeah. we're like well we just don't need anything else but yeah I do still need to do like a few storage solutions around the place it's, but it's, just it's an ongoing so process good. it's an ongoing process but I just I do love doing a deep clean all over the apartment and you just feel amazing like to get back there in the crevices it's just yes. like ugh. Or when you you pull everything out of the closet and you vacuum around the corner and you get all those like weird hair oh, dust bunny things. Sick. You're like you feel like you're a billionaire. Yes. Yes. It is a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. Just to be like, I just made this clean. So guys, get out there. Get Spring cleaning. But you've got it. a more niche. Yes. This niche. Is, I never know. Niche. I think it's both. Okay. Nietzsche. Nietzsche. <laughs> <laughs> um I well, I also do not do this. This is the first year I've really taken this on as part of my spring cleaning. But I also desperately need to do a digital spring cleaning. Yes. Because I'm the type of person, and I think everybody is, where it's like, I go through my emails. I'll go through, like, get any spam or something. But it's like, I have hundreds. I have thousands of emails in my inbox. I cannot find anything. I overlook emails because I just get so – Oh well, I was – um when I was on The Daily Show, background acting, thank you. I was in a sketch – um, my private information was leaked to the world. Oh my god! Yeah, so I get a ton of Did you spam. Get docs? I a light doxing. A light doxing. I think I, I don't know what happened, but I guess they sent us a thing from the production company that was like, "You've we signed everybody up for like one year of checking, you know, checking to see if your r- info has been released onto the dark web." And mine was like, "It has." <laughs> I was like, well, thank you, I guess. So I just get like, in my regular inbox, I get like, min penis pills, hello, fun time. You know, I get all that stuff. So I need to go through, start marking stuff as spam, start unsubscribing, and give myself like hours and hours in a full day to do this. I got to go through the phone, right? Getting all the all these photos that I've just like is my, my chin weird right now? I need to take a few photos before I go in somewhere. Like, just get rid of all those. Yes, get rid of all. And I have my computer is the worst because I have like my hard drive. Every project I've ever done, I have every phase of I have the pre writing. I have the like the timeline. I yeah. have every phase of every project that I've ever done. It's like I don't need to be hanging on to a packet that I wrote in 2014. I can release it into the world. Yes. I'm not going to be using these jokes, <laughs> you know, but I do I do end up hoarding stuff like that where it's like I have photos of like like when I used to work at the preschool, we would do like photo shoots and it's like just cut it loose. Yeah. Cut it loose. Uh, I tend to do that periodically. You can go into that. Your system preferences are about this Mac and then it goes into storage and it'll do like it will delete duplicates. Ooh, oh, my God. I did not know that was a hack. Yeah. So it'll clean up your stuff that have I think in your music library, you can have duplicates that you're unaware of. Yeah. Um, sometimes your voice recordings from your stand-ups are in there that you don't need uh, nightmare anymore. You're like listening to Joni Mitchell and it's like, <laughs> it's like, then it's your like voice audition. Like, oh, like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no. Or like sometimes when I'm trying to figure out what sound file for us, it ends up in my library. You can delete it. It doesn't mean it gets deleted from the other area. It's just yeah. in two places at that time. There's another thing you can do on, I know for Apple, you can look this up online. There is a trick of with like a command shift something on your finder and you do this that back that little wavy thing Mm -hmm. I'll set it up what that does is a lot of times in a lot of programs that you're working in it duplicates your files twice so it saves it in your original place that you told it to save it but it'll save a duplicate deep down in your software you do not need that and this thing will show you all of those and you can select it all and then delete it and that gives you that will free up a lot of space on your computer yes I that's what I absolutely need and it's like everything in the like all the downloads it's like you got to go through the downloads it's like I don't need um a w9 that someone sent me 17 years ago (laughs) I do not need this I can cut it loose yes but I'm so bad about like keeping up like you know voicemails my mailbox is full you know it's like it's so bad about like being like oh should I keep this one of my mom in case you know, who knows if I might want to hear the sound of her voice one day and I can't anymore. Yeah. It's like, that's the same thing. That's the same reason that people do like regular hoarding where they're like, my friend gave me this bracelet and yeah, you know, like, but, oh, I love having a hoarders when they're like, but I, I like that Christmas paper clipping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, But what are you going to use it for? Yeah. But oh. yeah, digital, 
but the digital stuff is hoarding our digital hoarding is weird because like there's times when I'm it's, they're like you, uh, time for your uh, operating system update and then they're like you don't have the space and you're like how do I not have the space I don't save anything on here and I've only had it for a year yeah uh, so then it makes me <laughs> it's like it makes me I'm like I guess I can delete this family photo vacation <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then, then later you find that you just have, like, outtakes from an audition. It's just, like, <laughs> clogging up the entire... That's the thing that's so, like, horrifying, too, because it's, like, you do have to, like, check to make sure. Be like, is this a video that I actually need? And meanwhile, it's, like, me auditioning for, like, a prostitute who delivers pizza. You know, like, eh. it's like, well, I didn't book that. Now I'm now I'm having a flashback to my rejection. Yeah, I couldn't like- play the, the pizza slut. <laughs> What was I doing wrong? What was I doing wrong? I was so good. <laughs> no, uh. there's I there's a, there's one audition. I didn't at this was pre ring light. Mm-hmm. And it was the summertime, so it was just hot. Mm-hmm. And I remember it was in the bathroom where I could only find the natural light in our apartment and it had like a half shut. Oh god. <laughs> it was such a dramatic. But it was one of those auditions where you're like I have the feeling that they're like Kate, you guys need to come in here and check <laughs> this one yeah. out. But then those are like those are the ones that you have on your hard drive and you're like, I didn't I wouldn't have deleted my photo of my dad <laughs> if I knew that was on there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And meanwhile you just like the last like voice recordings of your dad's voice, you were <laughs> like, Well, I gotta let it go. <laughs> I have to update my operating system. Oh. Um I get external hard drives and I'm actually due for another one. Yeah. And um, I like I'll put our stuff on there. So because yeah. like, I actually want to keep track of all that stuff. Um, But I think, yeah, an external hard drives these days are so especially if you're just doing photos, you don't have yeah. to get like. Oh, that's good to keep just keep all photos on like you know. one area and you yeah. don't have to save it directly on your computer and then yeah. you just label it and then throw it in that box. Of oh, random wires that you will throw good. out 10 years from now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a wire time. Yeah. I also, well, I have uh, Google storage, which I also am now hoarding stuff on because I just, because it just, anytime you like upload the video to somebody, it just uploads it to your Google. And it's like, I looked at mine recently. I have like a hundred, you yeah. know, however much bytes, who knows? It's, I, I'm like close. I'm like getting near to the end and I pay like $2 a month for it. It's like how, this is all auditions and all like bad stand up. Yeah. But I'm like, I better send, I better send this clip in. <laughs> I yeah. just have to go through it. And it's so, it's so about mind those. numbing. It's so mind numbing to do those like that with the email. I remember one time I, I did a huge email cleanse. This is like seven or eight years ago, maybe even 10. And yeah, it took me those have hours. A lot of big, uh, what are the attachments? Attachments. And then sometimes with the emails too, you're like, oh, well, you don't want to delete somebody's like, maybe I could bug this person for work in years. Yeah. You don't want to delete their email. Um, there, I was doing this for a while. Sunday night, I would delete all my screenshots of sh- shit talking. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When yeah. you're like, yeah. look what this person's up to. I'd get rid of those. Yes. Um, and then I forget, even when you delete them on your phone, there's an album where it says deleted items. And it, uh, will, yeah. it deletes them 30 days later. But you can preempt that and just yes. delete all of them. Because we learned that by taping Yes, the yes. Podcast. And that's important to do if you do a sex tape. Yes. You should just make sure you delete it. Yes. I actually feel like nobody should be doing sex tapes. Uh, Unless you don't give, give a shit. Yeah, I mean, it's too dangerous with the cloud. Absolutely. And then also, I just know, I've seen guy comics that I know openly show f- naked photos of their girlfriends <gasps> that they've sent. That I'm like, after knowing that, they'll be like, Hey, dude, check this out. That I'm like, that's fucked. Ugh, that's so disgusting. Yeah. I don't. Well, I'm not names, name names. names <laughs> on the Patreon. Names to be released on the Patreon twenty dollar <laughs> tier. I'm sure you guys will probably guess some right ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I uh, wait. What was I going to say about? No, this is my my strategy for the digital. Doing okay. the digital with the spring cleaning is. I'm going to do the spring cleaning this weekend. Okay. Then I'm going to do digital next weekend so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep breaking it up digital I think is gonna take me longer than the actual spring cleaning yeah because they're in the storage feature in that apple icon when you're it goes through your um all these images that you can go through that are in your text 
they're so tiny so that you tiny. actually have to delete on each one because oh sometimes you th- you realize you forgot to save that in your photo files. Yeah, that yeah. you actually you're like you do need that one because that one that's time consuming. So time consuming. But you know what? I'm gonna put on a movie. I'm gonna make it fun. Yeah. Put on a movie. Enjoy. Put on a podcast. Just yeah. enjoy it. Just have something on light in the background and then just do it as you're like killing time. Digital cleaning is so less satisfying than regular cleaning though I have to yeah. say like my desktop is always like people see my desktop they're like are you okay I just have everything everywhere is yours all higgledy piggledy yeah I, it has like a rhyme or reason to it but then I don't organize it that often so I find organizing files on the computer to be actually a, a weirdly difficult task yeah uh I'll I, I always feel like I have a sense of order and then when I have to go back and recollect I'm like this where you're like did I save that (laughs) how come I put it there instead of here like it doesn't make any sense to me later but it made sense to me at that time Ugh, it's tricky it's stressful but but listen to this this is we're putting out this episode so you can listen to this while you are doing your spring cleaning absolutely get it in get in there and get it done and enjoy yourself and reward yourself don't forget to celebrate the tiny milestone of doing a cleaning tiny milestone and then buy more crap buy more crap celebrate (laughs) your spring clean by buying way more stuff that you can throw out next year when you're like why would i why would i buy this (laughs) oh this has been lady journey thanks to everyone for listening thank you to our patreon subscribers and thank you to the wonderful people who have left us a five-star review on itunes and if you haven't yet please do it this is your moment our tiny milestone is a hundred we're we are gunning for it and if you guys could just pick up your damn finger i lash out yeah (laughs) And give us a five-star review. And I will still, if you send us an email at ladyjourneypodcast at gmail.com and you give us a photo of your five-star review, I will still send out my politically incorrect koozies, although mm. I only have about 10 left of each so kind. They're, so they're going like hot cakes. They are. Well, they're going like slow cakes. <laughs> they're going like cold cakes. I sold about 10 this weekend. Ooh. So Actually, um, 13 because okay. I made $65. So not nice. bad. Going like medium cakes. Medium cakes. Lady Journey. Lady Journey.